So when I was remodeling my kitchen recently, I went through this dilemma of whether I require a ducted chimney or a ductless chimney. Based on all the parameters after my research, I really wanted a ductless kitchen chimney, but I did finally go for a ducted kitchen chimney. Why? Let's take a look at that in today's video, where I will compare the different types of chimneys, what size is required, and finally, which one is ideal for your use case. This walks through my entire thought process when I was deciding on the chimney that I purchased as well. Since I've already done the research on best kitchen chimneys, if you would like to purchase one or take a look at it, check in the description, I've linked to them already. As always, let's start with the basics. So the first question to ask is, do you really need a kitchen chimney or is an exhaust fan in your kitchen enough? If you see a lot of modular and smaller kitchens, in Western countries or even Eastern countries, they really don't have a large bulky kitchen chimney in them. They only have an exhaust fan. Why? Because their cooking is a lot less greasy. The main goal of a chimney or an exhaust in the kitchen is to do three things. One, to remove odors. The second, to remove the greasy particles in the air. And the third is to remove smoke. If your cooking does not involve oil or involves very little oil, an exhaust fan may be sufficient for you. But in the Indian kitchen, we do use a considerable amount of oil. As a result, without a chimney, the grease would then get settled on your kitchen cabinets or on the ceiling, which in the short term you may not be able to notice, but in the long term you will have sticky cabinets and you may have discolored ceiling and walls. I use very little oil in my cooking, but I have white cabinets, so I didn't want to take a chance, so I decided that I do need a kitchen chimney. So assuming that you are now convinced you need a kitchen chimney, which I think most of you are, let's talk about what type of kitchen chimney is ideal for you. There are two main types to decide from, a ductless chimney or a ducted chimney. In a ductless chimney, the air passes through the filters of the chimney and recirculates the air back into the kitchen thereby it is not able to remove moisture or hot air from the kitchen so if you stay in a hot place and you're using a ductless kitchen chimney without any additional ventilation like an exhaust fan or keeping your doors and windows open then the kitchen might become considerably hotter coming to the ducted chimney in this case the air is pushed out of the kitchen through the pipe that is connecting the chimney and the external wall. So the moisture and heat in the air is significantly reduced in this scenario. From a setup point of view, obviously the ductless chimney is less complex to set up. You just need to fix it on top of your hob. But in the case of a ducted chimney, you need to actually drill a hole on your external wall, which is about six inches wide. Since it is such a large hole, you will require a contractor to do this if it is not already there in your kitchen. So in short, there is a considerable setup requirement for a ducted chimney. When do you have to choose each of these? First, if your cooking is less greasy, if you use less oil, then a ductless chimney is good enough for you. So if your kitchen is not conducive for a ducted chimney, for example, if your hob is at the opposite side of your external wall, that means the length of the pipe that connects the kitchen chimney and the external wall will be too long for a ducted chimney to be effective. So in such a scenario, you might want to consider a ductless chimney. The third is if you have very good ventilation in your kitchen. So if you are able to keep your door or window open either during cooking or right after cooking, or you can actually get an exhaust fan and you meet the requirement of cooking non-greasy food, then you don't need a ducted chimney, you only need a ductless chimney. And if your duration of cooking is less, if you're like me, and cook your meals at one time of the day rather than splitting it across multiple times of the day, then you might want to use a ductless chimney because the time you spend in the kitchen is significantly smaller. So those were the reasons to pick a ductless chimney. The exact opposite are the reasons to pick a ducted chimney. So if your cooking involves a lot of oil, if your kitchen setup is conducive, if you have less ventilation in your kitchen, then you definitely do need a ducted chimney. Fourth is if you're spending a considerable amount of time of your day in the kitchen, then you do require a ducted chimney. Otherwise, it can get very hot in the kitchen. From a noise level point of view, the ductless chimneys are noisier because they need to do a lot of work to clean and recirculate the air. Whereas in the case of a ducted chimney, the noise levels are a lot lower. Coming to the maintenance, since the ductless chimneys require an additional carbon filter in them, which is used to clean the air that is being recirculated, these carbon filters need to be replaced every six to 12 months based on your usage. So the maintenance cost is quite high as well. And you need to clean the other filters on a regular basis as well. When it comes to ducted models, 
since they don't have a carbon filter and these days you do get filterless and auto cleaning chimneys in the case of ducted the maintenance on a day-to-day -day basis is significantly lower from a pricing point of view the upfront cost of a ductless chimney is much lower whereas uh, in a ducted chimney it starts between seven to eight thousand and it can go all the way up to thirty to forty thousand based on the size and based on the design talking about design ductless models are fairly old-fashioned you rarely get good designs in ductless models but these days in ducted models you get some awesome designs which almost look like TVs and this was a clincher for me I had a specific color and a specific design in mind which was not available in the ductless options and that is the main reason that I went with a ducted option although for my cooking style and for my kitchen I did not really require a ducted kitchen chimney on research I found that there was just one brand which had one model which could be converted into a ductless chimney. So it was a ducted chimney which could be converted into a ductless chimney. But after speaking to their customer support, I figured that it is not a very common use case and I was afraid that going forward, I would not get the spares for it. So I decided to go for a ducted option. So what suction power should you buy? The suction power should be determined based on a few key parameters. In general, kitchen chimneys have suction powers between 400 cubic meters per hour to 1400 cubic meters per hour. I have seen architects recommending anywhere between 800 to 1200 cubic meters per hour for an Indian kitchen. So how do you determine what size do you require? The first is dependent on the size of your kitchen. If you have a larger kitchen, you need a larger suction power. So anywhere above 1100 1200 if the pipe is over five to six feet then you need a larger suction power because the kitchen chimney needs to expand the air for a longer distance the third is if you have bends in the pipe that connect the chimney to the external wall so in that case as well the chimney needs to spend extra power so it, the suction power needs to be higher if you cook predominantly non-vegetarian food then you do require one with a higher suction power you need to buy one with a suction power that's ideal for your use case if you buy a larger one then the sound will be too high as well as the energy consumption or power consumption will be too high as well. The one I bought was 1100 cubic meter per hour that was predominantly determined based on the design that was available. The design I wanted was only available in the 1100 cubic meter per hour. Baffle filters or filterless? Auto cleaning or not auto cleaning? Which one to purchase? I have a question for you. Why would you not want to reduce the amount of work in your kitchen? I am all about minimizing the amount of work that I need to do. These days, most kitchen chimneys come with both a filterless option as well as an auto cleaning option. And that's what I did purchase as well. So the maintenance for these are significantly lower compared to the maintenance for ones with a filter. If you want a detailed comparison between using a one with a baffle filter as well as a, a filterless option, drop me a comment. I may consider that based on the number of requests that I get. If you're going for a ductless option, now unfortunately the ductless options don't have a filterless option yet. So in that case, your choice should be determined on whether the spares for that chimney are available easily or not especially the carbon filters, which is what is used to clean the air for recirculation. And the last thing is what size should you buy? In general, chimneys are available in 60 inches, that is two feet or 90 inches, that is three feet. And the size of your chimney should match or should be higher than the size of your hob. So if your hob is a 60 inch hob, then you need at least a 60 inch chimney. If your hob is a 90 inch hob, then definitely you need a 90 inch chimney. You should not go for a 60 inch chimney. If you buy the chimney size smaller than the hob size, then in that case, the efficiency of the chimney goes down and you could have grease settled on your cabinets right above the hob or even on your walls and ceiling. So like I mentioned earlier, ideally for my use case, I would have preferred a ductless option because my cooking has less oil, kitchen size is small and I don't spend too much time cooking in the kitchen. I do everything in one shot. So it would have been ideal, but given the lack of options in the ductless model, I did go for a ducted option, which is the Elika model which I will talk about in the next video where I will compare various different kitchen chimneys, which I will link over here. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.